I was just fixing up this hole and I was going to show you a baby... A baby buffalo that was in the hole and... I, I couldn't tell you what happened. Oh my gosh. Well, that's not the tone I wanted to start this video with. I'm holding a carcass right now. This was the start of my video was going to be like, this baby bison wants you to subscribe. No, never freaking mind. Welcome to episode three, everyone. We've already had a death. I don't know how to segue out of this. I built Hong Kong a nest so he'd stop sleeping on my bed and clearly that's not working. I also made this egg identifier, so we're gonna analyze all our mystery eggs. And this is my lovely little segue into what we are doing today. Today we are building an aviary. Yep, it's going down today. Oh, it's analyzing. What is going on with this frying pan? I don't want to fry the egg. Oh, oh, it's a, it's a magnifying glass. Oof, this is really swiftly going through my my pile. Let's just see how many of these can get done. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's so cool. Well, that's working. I have something else that I can make now. I can make a bundle. Yeah. How do I add things to my sack? Oh, like that. I guess that's not that many more things, but you know what? It works for me. Now I've got a sack. I really hate that word. Kingfisher. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. A watched pot never boils, so I have to stop watching it. And then it'll boil. I also have not had any luck with fishing recently. My fishing rod broke and I just... This was the only good thing I got, so I've had to hit the mines again. Cockatoo? <laughs> Here's everything we just got. Here's the haul. Here's the haul, guys. So, ostrich, penguin, cassowary, owl, macaw, roadrunner, magpie, cockatoo, gull, pigeon, crane, crane, cr crane, duck, <laughs> kingfisher, hummingbird. And these are all pretty high chances of them hatching, which is so interesting. Yeah, see, this one only has a 30% chance, but all of these have much higher spawn rates. Gotta get some more redstone. Oh, I'm so excited. Phase two of today's plan. Is the sun seriously setting when I'm about to take on phase two? Something else I can make now are some books. If I surround it with feathers, put a book in the middle. I made the bird encyclopedia so we can see everything that we're going to hatch. Adding this to my books collection. Ah! I almost stepped on a sleeping cat. Finally, what I'm searching for. Got it. Easy peasy, watch this. What a loser. <gasps> that is the most perfect tree to ever grow. That's exactly what I wanted when I planted that tree. I want a few of those in there to make it look a little bit more like a grassland, you know, with the, the big inter intermittent tree activity. This is going to be our temporary storage slash cow pit so yep this may get a little annoying upstairs but uh gotta do what i gotta do to get the leather so <laughs> with the dead cow's remains i have made a bookshelf which is going to become the lectern oh yet another usage for my plethora of slabs hmm ideas in my brain I've either just created the world's biggest eyesore or the world's coolest viewing platform, and I'm really not sure which. Is this a monstrosity? Only time will tell. Yeah, that's nice. And then I can throw a book on it. Slugs? Wow. Ah! Ah. Jeez. Ah! 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 I did not know what that was. Why is there no chickens anywhere? Cow. Oh, jeez, I'm bearing her baby. That's dangerous. I don't know where to find a chicken. Oh, I can't kill one of the OGs with the sand in its mouth. Or the one with the little minnow. 2,000 years later. Finally. You know what? Oh, <gasps> cactus. Yes. True love. Damn it. I'll just let the bison handle this one. 
Thanks, Bison. <gasps> One of them died? This is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Why did this tree grow so uglyly? I put the thing there so it would be tall. Yes, I got a feather. What do I need? What do I need to make a book and quill? An ink sack? Not a brain cell in his head. I keep thinking I'm seeing a squid and then it's just a jellyfish. Is this a friggin' guardian thing? <laughs> Once again, those are jellyfish. My displeasure is immense and my day is ruined. Why do I have a spoon? Oh, mining fatigue. Why is mining fatigue a spoon? Is that another one or did I just go in a circle? What? What's all this kelp? Oh, finally. No, no, no. Why are we swimming towards the... I have to face the Elder Guardian just to find a friggin' squid? Ah! Did I get it? Yes. Alright, now I can make my book and quill. Seriously? There's a squid right there. Alright, well this is a nice day to sit down at the desk. And have a little write in my book. A few moments later. Alright, so I've written a little thing about the bison here. So it says bison or buffalo. The scientific name is bison, bison, bison. I couldn't do the proper scientific format. You're supposed to um, either italicize the whole thing or underline it if you can't italicize, but I can't do either either of those things and it's driving me a little bit mad. This is the genus, this is the species, and this is the subspecies because we have the American bison and the genus is always capitalized, the species and subspecies are always lowercase and so, you know, keep that in mind that this is meant to be italicized. I might get a mod where, that allows me to be a little more creative with my books, but they eat June grass. Of course, they eat a little more than this in the in real life. They're found in temperate forests and plains. They live in herds and headbutt each other to assert their dominance. <laughs> and they are one of two species of bison, the other being the y scent, which is the European bison. I try to keep it all on one page, short and sweet, because zoo goers, they do not... They do not want to read all that. Me, personally, when I go to a zoo, I just want to, like, know what I'm looking at, and then I just look at it. Like, I don't need to know the whole life story of every critter. So there we go. Now we can read this and enjoy it and look out at all the bison that we can't see because it's raining. And I've got to fix the fence. Slaying. While we're waiting on the last feather, I want to talk about full sending the aviary. I want to put it right here, but I also think that means we might have to get rid of this tree. And I feel really bad getting rid of the tree. I think it's time. Yeah. That was sad, but you know, sometimes change is necessary. So this is the idea. And it's going to be like a glass dome kind of thing. Now you come in and you can sign in with that book and I'll sign in and today's date let's date this so I can look back and be like oh that was a long time ago and I'm writing this like an American and I'm very sorry there we go how cute is that I'm also I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna hatch some goose eggs the goose population is dwindling let's let's give these geese some family oh my bad oh they're honking at me. Whoa. A lot of honkers. All right, now this mama has a lot of babies. Oh my god, that worked out so much better than I thought it would. Oh, no, you don't. You will not kill another one of my bison, I swear to god, so long as I live upon this earth. <gasps> there is a baby bison. One lives. Oh, wait. I can tame them when they're in their baby phase. I need to go grab some June grass. <gasps> he loves me. That's so cute. Something interesting has occurred. One of them, it looks like, dropped. They're shedding. Wonder if I can do anything with that. Ah! Ah! He got me. He got me. I'm poisoned. I Oh, I stepped on the friggin' snake. That's what happened. I am very sorry. Let me reunite you with your family. Such a large family. Right next to my house. There's a creeper right there. I am so scared to walk past it. 
Oh, jeez. Yeeks! Oh, that wasn't so bad. I did it. Here's the progress so far. Leave my baby buffalo alone. Oh my goodness. All right, so this part of the episode might be a little sketch because there's a lot of background noise right now and I have the hiccups really bad. For some reason, I've had the hiccups all day long and they will not go away no matter what I do. I have tried Zumba. I have tried, you know, thinking about other things. It's clearly not working. Anyway, here is the aviary. <laughs> I realized very quickly with the glass how big a, st a stack actually was. So I have to, I have to, I have to come clean about something, guys. I, I cheated in. I cheated in most of th this glass. I was, I was really thinking. I was like, is it worth it for me to spend hours and hours? G <gasps> what? <laughs> just hitting my keyboard so i dug out this huge hole of of sand and, <laughs> and i it was like half of this wedge of glass and i was like are you are you kidding me? are you kidding me right now so um <laughs> I also can't stop laughing today. I don't know what's wrong with me. I was like, I feel like I would benefit from just cheating it in and getting it over with because this series isn't about being super survival. It's 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 about just the zoo, you know? So I'm glad that this is over with and done. And, um, oh, it makes a really pretty pattern on the ground. That's lovely. And um, it uh, I think I made a good job making it flow. This was a little janky. I I still don't know if that part looks right, but I think I like it. And then we can put the birds over here, and people can stay on the walking path and not go into the bird area. And it'll be all fine and dandy. I might actually raise this whole thing up one and do like slabs the whole way across, kind of a thing. But I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm gonna put the birds and stuff in first. So let's go get the birds and stuff to put in here. And then also I have to fix the stupid hole. No! You little devil. You cheeky bastard. Surprisingly, this makes it like kind of hard to talk. Like my voice feels really strained right now. Try trying to talk while I keep hiccuping. And it's not the hiccups. It's fine. It's not the hiccups. It's the, like, the, the, I don't know what it is, but it just makes my, it, it just hurts. So out of all the birds I have, I think I'm going to go with the temperate and tropical birds and see what comes of that. Because I kind of want to build a separate area for penguins, you know. The ostrich, I want to build a separate area for Cassowary, that's also gonna have to be a separate area because we cannot have guests wandering among the cassowaries. We can try owl. <laughs> we can try I don't want a goose. We have I have enough geese in this there's enough geese in here for You have a big personality, Hong Kong, is what I'm trying to say. Is that that's enough ge <laughs> geese for me. Macaw Macaw <laughs> My New York accent coming out. Magpie, yeah <laughs> yes. Duck no. <laughs> Duck, no. <laughs> I should just make, like, cuts. Anytime there's silence and I just hiccup right through it, I'll just, it'll just be, uh, 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 uh. that would be really funny. <laughs> what? The door didn't make the closing noise. That was so cursed. I think my hiccups are gone. I'm just gonna first here see what i can hatch and then based on what i can hatch is how i will decorate my hot bar is full of the eggs let's try for owl <gasps> owl is locked in all right macaw what macaw is also locked in kingfisher what what <laughs> three for three hummingbird what what the crane Two for two on the crane. Pigeon. What? Is my game broken? Because these have like... 
basically 50-50s. All right, next one, I surely won't get a cockatoo. What? That is a weird looking cockatoo. I have never seen a cockatoo so, so evil looking. Magpie. Okay, that was easy. Magpie again. Magpie again. I got every single one of those birds. And I bet I'll get the crane, too. That's... Wow. Okay. That's a lot of birds happening all at once right now. Please don't get in my sack. Thank you. Hate that word every time I say it. Let's not have anybody drown. But I did make a pond because I figured the kingfisher would appreciate that. We are already drowning. Nope. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I think that one just grew up. Are you all grown up? Oh, the owl grew up, too. The pigeon grew up. Everyone's growing up. This is lovely. <gasps> the kingfisher's grown up. The macaw is grown... Oh, this is the, the, the poison... The poison hemlock. Let's get that out of here. Oopsie. What? Did you just say womp womp? <laughs> Ooh, just thought of a great idea of something to add. What are you sparkling for? What are the Twinkle Toes? All right, well, your name is Twinkle Toes now. Well, this side looks great. I'm loving this side. This side is great. This side, bad. This is bad and ugly and plain. And in order to fix that, I need to go to a jungle. So next episode, we're going to go on an adventure to the jungle. Thanks for sticking along with me in the chaos of this episode, and I will catch you in the next one. Toodles.